Hello, today I'm starting a new series of videos. It's called the Crazy Shape in the Abyss, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I will take non meta shapes, I'll fit them on my own, and I'll see what I can do. The reason why is very simple it's fun, and I'm really curious to see how non meta shapes do there in the abyss. Another point is to show how good or bad those shapes are. And I'm not claiming that any of those shapes are better than the Meta or better than the Gila, and actually, they're probably not. I, I just want to show you how they do, and you'll be the judge. I always hope for more ship diversity in EVE, and what I mean is that having only one ship that is way better than anything else for a game type, in this case, the Gila with PvE, is boring and unfun. And did I say it's really boring? Anyway, I hope it helps someone, and if it doesn't, well, at least make a laugh with me or at me, I certainly will. So here we are with the rules. The rules are very simple. No Caldari ships and no Gila. No implants, no boosters, maximum 1 billion fit, tier 3 abyss, aim for the main box, clear the three pockets, and get out alive. That's it. A quick note about those. I'm not trying to record 100 times and cut the bad, keep the good, and show you how great of a pilot I am. That's really not the point. So I'm going to just record three runs with each ship and, you know, upload as it is with my errors and everything. If um, I die once in three runs, that will dis disqualify the ship. Um, a quick last note about faction ships. Pirate faction ships and navy cruisers are really good. Especially if you run uh, tier 2 sites, you can fit a micro drive, an MTU, you can get all the boxes, kill all the enemies and still finish with around 10 or more minutes left on the timer. That's just a much less intense environment and it's more suitable to new pilots or pilots that still can't fly heavy assault cruisers. If you want to go tier 3 above, heavy assault cruisers really do have an edge. They have better everything, better bonuses, better resistances. Uh, assault damage control really makes a huge difference. But enough with my ramblings. Check out the videos and let me know your thoughts. And remember, fly safe.